This video covers Power SDR KE9NS revision 122716 T11 and a timer, ID timer function I've added. Uh, the normal one is you left click on it, it starts a 10 minute timer. I've got this set so it only triggers after one minute just for the demonstration. But after one minute, uh, and it's synchronized with the current time, so it's going to start. Um, with the uh, the first minute and you'll get a pop-up screen which uh, is going to appear just about now. This will stay on there even though the, the this will flash for a few seconds, stop, this timer will reset and start over again. Uh, normally it's 10 minutes. This you can move around and it'll remember where it's at. So if you have two screens and you want it to be in front of your second screen, so if you're on the internet, um, you know, so that it, it uh, stays in front of you if you want, then you can move it over there and it'll remember. But you click OK to, to get through that. Now the other one is if I were to uh, right click, it adds a WF in front of that and then what happens is um, when I turn it off, turn it back on, if this call sign up in here is green, meaning you go in there and go out, it'll make the file, then every 10 minutes it will do, it'll transmit your waterfall, your call sign into the waterfall, so other SDR radios, and there it is right there. It's a little hard to see because I'm running really narrow, you'd want to zoom out to see it better, but other SDRs can see that. The last mode <clears throat> is uh, you push your wheel mouse down and you get an AU ID and that's the audio and the way you want to record the audio is click on this box up here then when I hit the record button it's gonna automatically key the radio with zero power and it'll let me re it'll let me do a recording and then I hit record again to turn it off so let me do a record for an ID KE9NS for ID Okay, so now it's done that recording. Now I right click over the play button, or I could I could hit play, and then and it'll play my audio recording. But if I right click, it opens up this window, and the last recording here is the one I just made. So I can right click on that again and do a rename, and I can rename this ID timer like that, and then just click anywhere and it'll save that. Now I've already got an ID timer file in there um, so I'm not going to save that one but it's down at the bottom and I did a CW version or a voice version now I click the one I want to play and that's going to be the one that is going to uh, it's, I saved it. If I hit play it's going to record it but uh, or it's going to play it back but it's not really necessary but it, it's basically a I recorded Morse code so it plays my uh, my call sign in CW. So now when this timer is turned on, it would automatically key the radio every 10 minutes and play that file, the, the ID timer. I don't have to do this again. This is just a one-time recording, but uh, because it's just the the timer is gonna just search for anything called ID timer dot wave. It doesn't, you don't have to do this recording thing ever again. It's just a one-time deal. But if you want to record CW, then what you can do is either, you know, you can put your radio in CW mode, and you can either use a keyer, or you can go to the CWX panel, put your call sign in there, select the speed you want to do, and then hit the record button, hit the CW, it plays the CW, hit the record button again to turn it off, now you can close this panel, you can go back into your sideband mode, and then again, right click on the play button. It recorded the new quick audio file here, 103, and I right click on that, change the name to ID timer if I want. Um, and uh, you could save multiple recordings, but the one that says ID timer dot wave is the only one it's going to play when this timer goes off. And you have to go into the wave file here that opens up this folder and make sure you've got quick audio safe folder enabled. Make sure that checkbox is enabled. So now when I turn on this timer by left clicking, it's telling me I'm on the audio timer and it's got a 10 minute countdown. And then it will key up the radio and automatically play that 
timer ID file, which happens to be a CW file. So, uh, that's it.